Let's get to Fort McMurray right now as residents were given only minutes to flee from the blaze. Actually terrifying. Oh my God, it's right there. The footage coming out is dramatic and scary. Tens of thousands are evacuated as part of a mandatory order. Now, even though the fire started on the weekend, they thought they had the situation under control until those winds Frank was talking about picked up, stoking the blaze amid hot and dry conditions. Joining us now with the latest is John Knox, Director of Programming for our sister radio stations in Fort McMurray. Good morning, John. Good morning, Kevin. How are you? I'm, I'm well. The question is, how are you and how are the residents of Fort McMurray this morning? I have to start off asking that question as my default opener because I keep realizing that's a bad question for me to ask. Uh, I'm well. Our staff is well. We're all safe and uh, in safe places at the moment. I'm currently in Edmonton at a hotel. We drove down here last night. Um, and uh, the mood in the city, very, very somber. Uh, as we were pulling out, it, it felt like one of those Armageddon movies. The downtown was, you know, nobody there, no lights on, very dark, gray smiles, billowing smoke, and flames literally beside the road on both sides. This is what we're seeing. And, you know, I, I can't believe, first of all, there's been no injuries because some of the footage that I have seen of people driving through this thick black smoke, what was your... Did you have scary moments as you were leaving the city? Um, the scariest moment for us, there were two of them. One was when basically we're at what is supposedly a safe place, the RCMP Command Center, and then suddenly and without notice we're told, you must leave and you must leave now. Um, I'd expected the exit from the radio station as a precaution, but this one took me by surprise because they followed it with, it's a full city evacuation. And that I didn't see coming. Have um, so once we got on the road, what we saw were, was just, it was numbing. It was numbing what you saw. You know, things that you've known, the Denny's, the Super 8, those are rubble. Really? And is there any indication yet when some people can go back, I mean, if their homes are still standing, is there any indication yet at all when you can go back to uh, Fort McMurray? No, and, and it's hard to put a frame on the devastation. I mean, I just looked at a tweet from the regional municipality, which is uh, retweeted by our mymcmurray.com, uh, our news property up here, and it lists the neighborhoods and the percentages of damage, and one neighborhood had 80% homes destroyed. 80%? Uh, that's, or, sorry, perhaps 80 homes destroyed. Oh, it 80, was yeah. a large number and uh, a small neighborhood that, that the houses are very close together. So once one, it just went from one to the next. All right, John, our thoughts are with you and all the residents of Fort McMurray this morning. Thanks very much, Kevin. We have to stop meeting like this. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's with John just under much happier circumstances just a few uh, few weeks ago. So, yeah, this is just devastating. If you are worried about family and friends in uh, that uh, area of Alberta, go to redcross.ca or you can follow them on Twitter at Red Cross Canada. There's also a phone number that has been uh, set up as well for you. It's one 888 350 6070